This is Sudhagar Kalyana Sundar. Welcome to today final hands on lab about cross site scripting attack web application ill. Cross site scripting it remains a pervasive vulnerability in web application, enabling attackers to inject malicious code such as JavaScript into victim web browser. As you can see here, we are using Yelk web applications. Yelk is an Powerful and a well-sighted web application framework designed specifically for building social networking platform and a community-driven websites. Let's move to our task one. Our task one is here. It's about posting a malicious message to display an alert window. So now let's create an, our JavaScript file. Let's create our new folder. I already have created a new folder. Let's create a new JavaScript file and you name it as in my script js and I'll open this file with sublime and they ask us to create an alert. So let's do it. I'll keep it as this is uh, uh, Let me save this. And let's open our files. And let's open our terminal. Open in terminal. And then navigate to appropriate location. CD. Where? www.html Let's copy the javascript file to the calendar file. So let's copy our location. Let's copy our java file. So sudo cp and I paste my location here. Is on final and the name of the file is my scripts.js. I copy successfully here. Let's close this. Now let's create a new HTML file. I will name it then alert.html. Let's open this file. As you can see that we have to write this script there. So let's write our script here. Script type equal to text or JavaScript. And they ask us to add in source file. So I will say how to get in source. Now we'll open uh, Firefox. The search engine type localhost and our file name myscript.js. As you can see here, like this is an attack. So this is our source. Let's copy this source and paste it here. Let's save. It means everything is cut here. Now let's open our Firefox. Let's open our SSSL websites. Let's log in with any users. As you can see here, with this, any users you can log in with. So I'm now, go, now gonna log in with an uh, any username, as I'm if I log in with Bobby here. Let's navigate to profile, edit the profile. Let's inject our code in brief description tab. Sorry, I think I didn't copy that. Copy it here. Now let's inject it. 
Now let's save it. As you can see, the pop-up window has been displayed here. This is an attack. So whenever you click any button here, the pop-up window will be popped up saying this is an attack. So task one has been successfully completed here. So let's move to our task two. Before moving that, I'll just remove my brief descriptions and I will save and I will do one logout. Now let's see what is our task two. Task two is nothing but posting and Molly's message to display cookies. So they are asking us to display the cookies. So we have to modify our alert.html file. We copy this file. Let's paste it here. Instead of removing, let's command this file as task one. Let's close this command. Now they ask us to display the cookies, so we don't want JavaScript. So slow screen. They ask us to display the cookie. So alert. Of document dot cookie. So let's copy this. Open a Firefox, open our website, log in with any username. This time also I'm using Bobby. Navigate to profile. Edit profile. Inject your script in brief descriptions, as you can see here. Now let's save. As you can see that cookies has been displayed here. Whenever you uh, click any submit or any buttons, I will Cookies has been displayed here. So our task two has been successfully completed here. So I remove the brief description. Let's move to our task three. Before that, I will just log out of my account. Let's go to our task three. Our task three is stealing cookies from the victim's machines. That only uh, users alone won't see the message. Others also will see the message in their terminal. As you can see here, by using netcat, we are going to see the what cookies has been displayed in the users. So, let's modify our code according to this. Let's open our sublime, sublime test. Let's modify. Let's comment this. Task 2. Paste here. Let's remove this. Let's simply copy this from here. And let's paste it on here. In this, as you can see that they are asking us to use 5555 code and the IP address is 127.0.0.1. So now let's go to a sublime test and modify our code according to that. They are asking us to use 555 code, they are 55 code, and we have to change our IP as 127.0.0.1. I think so everything is fine here. Let's save this and let's copy this. Let's go to our website. Let's use this. Let's log in with any of the username. Let's log in with Bobby. Now we get to profile. Edit profile. Let's inject our code here. As you can see here, I've injected my code here. 
So before clicking save, they ask this to any turn terminal, as you can see here. Netcat. So this terminal command is nothing but then we are using netcat to steal and uh, display and cookies. Hyphen V is nothing but then to give more verbose output. And the L is used for specify NC. So let's go for our terminator. Let's write the command NC hyphen L or which port number that is 555 I give and then to give more verbose output I'm giving V as you can see here. Now let's click enter. Now I just save it. I think so I made an exit. Yeah, as you can see here, elk has been displayed here. The cookies has been displayed here. So our task 3 has been successfully completed here. Now let's move to our task 4. As I will display fully here. This has been displayed here. So let's move to our task 4. Before that I will remove this one. And I will do save. And I'll just log out. What is our task 4? Task 4 is nothing but then becoming a victim's friend. So I'll explain this code under step by step and I will answer the remaining two questions also here. So first for that we have to create a new JavaScript file as an add friend to add this JavaScript file. So let's create our new file here. Let's create a sin. Add friend. Yes, file. I will explain what is this files contains and the everything. Now let's go to our website. Let's copy our script. I will explain the each line of the code here after pasting the. I think so I didn't open it. I'll open with sublime text. I paste it here. So. And I'll do some small modifications. I will explain the both cosines at the end of this lab. We have to fill our URL there. So I will fill it also. Let's fill our URL. Let's go to our website. This is this lab. Let's copy our URL. Control C. Let's paste it. Paste it here. Action. Friends. Add. I've explained this line, each line, after uh, completing this URL. Broken plus PS. Then, what is seven token? Yes, and I save it here. 
the provided javascript code named adfin.js serves as an crucial component in a cross-site scripting attack scenario when injected into a bot me field of a user self profile this script is designed to execute automatically when the user profile page is loaded by another user so now let's demonstrate this one i have copied this control a control c and then i go to here I log in with any user. For this time, I log in with Sammy. And now let's go to navigate to profile, edit profile. We have to add this one on about me file, as you can see here. We ask us to add it on about me file on Sammy's profile page. So let's go there. And they ask us to add it on Sammy's. So edit HTML. Let's paste it here. Yeah. Before that, try to remove your friends from others. I already removed that. Let's save it. As you can see here, in friends list. Let's go to just logged out. Now I will just log in with Bobby here. Okay, go here. As you can see here, Sammy has been added as a friend here. Like this, you can check for others also. Example, I'll give for Charlie. You can see that Sammy has been added as a friend here. So our task four has been successfully completed. Before I'm closing this, I would like to answer on these two questions here. Question one, explain the purpose of lines one and two, why are they needed? What is the lines? You can see here, these are the lines one and two here. Lines one and two seem to be constructing parameters to be appended to the URL for the HTTP request. These parameters include a timestamp, which is nothing but an val t s, and then security token, that is nothing but an yell token, as you can see here. So the purpose of these lines is likely to include a time-based token and a security token in the adjust request. This is a common practice in web application to prevent certain type of attacks, such as cross-site request forgery. The timestamp and the security token are usually used to validate the authenticity of the request and to ensure that it is not a replay attack. Our next question. If the Yelg application only provides the editor mode for the about me field, that is you cannot switch to test mode, can you still launch a successful attack? If the Yelg application only provides the editor mode for the about me field and you cannot switch to test mode, it may limit the attack vectors. However, the success of an attack depends on the specific vulnerabilities present in the application on how it processes the user input. If the application does not properly validate and sanitize user input, an attacker might still attempt various ingestion attacks within the constraints of allowed in, uh, input. Uh, I answered then both the questions. From this lab, what I understood is that the cross-site scripting attack lab provided valuable insight into the vulnerabilities present in web application. Throughout the task, we explored the potential risks associated with SSS, that is cross-site scripting, demonstrating how attackers can inject and execute malicious JavaScript code on victim browsers. We have successfully achieved various objectives, starting from displaying alert windows and accessing user cookies. So thank you.